Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Um, another episode of Quick Hits. I, I want to get into something. I, I'm a big basketball fan, too, a huge NBA fan. And I just noticed something with Zion Williamson. I want to make a comparison to Zion Williamson and Bam Rodriguez. Fighters are different, right? But before we do, um, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog, on all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, please also subscribe, uh, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Um, all right, let's get it to today's show. Um, I'm, I'm watching the Pelicans, um, and the OKC Thunder. It's a playing game. Loser goes home. Season's over. Winner plays another day. And Zion Williamson was born in the year 2000. Jesse Bam Rodriguez was born in the year 2000, same age. Uh, Bam just turned 23. Zion turns 23 in like a month and a half. Same age. <clears throat> Zion, uh, Jesse Bam Rodriguez has already won a world title, won a second world title. Zion Williams has never won a thing in his life. He didn't even win a college championship. Okay. Um, and, and, and I'm watching this. And, and Bam Rodriguez fought for his second world title, already a champion, can never take it away from him, right? You win one NBA title, you're an NBA champion, can't ever take that away from you. Jesse Bam Rodriguez already won the WBC Super Flyweight title. He moved back down to his more natural weight, a flyweight, to fight for a second world title. Broke his jaw in the sec- in the sixth round. Fought the second half of the fight with a broken jaw. No one even knew. You didn't see him favoring it. You didn't see him pulling at it. He just fought on with it. We didn't know until the fight was over, and he's in the press conference, and I broke my jaw. I can't talk through it. It hurts. <laughs> All right? So he just fought through it because he's a warrior, because he's a champion, because he wants to win, because he wants to be great. Zion Williamson, and, 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 and this kind of touches on the pampered athlete, is it playing with the season on the line? So he's not just letting himself down. He's not just not testing himself and not pushing himself and not showing himself how great he can be. He's letting his teammates down. So that's even worse in my opinion, right? You got 11 or 14 other guys. How many got 15 guy roster now? 14 other guys counting on you. And you're not playing because, and I quote, I'm not feeling like myself. I don't even know what that means. Who are you feeling like? If not yourself, I, I don't even, I don't even know what that means. Just go out and play. If you can't play, if it hurts that much, they'll pull you. But they're not going to, you know, with Zion, they're one of the best teams in the league, right? Zion Williamson, like Bam Rodriguez, is a special, unique talent who hasn't even hit his physical prime yet, right? Who's still <clears throat> on the climb, on, you know, still not hit his peak yet, still getting better, still growing, just 23 years old. And he's out. Not playing. You, you see the difference here? Like, I, I think Zion is an excellent basketball player. I think he can be an all-time great. Right? He's got a unique talent. He's got a unique skill set. Zion Williamson, at his best, is one of the premier players in the league. And no one pushes him to play. No one says you should play. There's no Mamba mentality here, right? There's no Kobe. There's no, you know, there's a story of when Kobe um, blew his ACL. He said, I tried to push it back in and and ask the trainer if he could just run on his heels or if they could just tape it up and they'll go play. It it doesn't work that way, Kobe. But that's the mentality that athletes used to have, right? Bam, foot with a broken jaw. The amount of pain he went through, but he just bit down. It's pain. 
It's not going to kill you. It's not going to kill you. It's just going to hurt. And I understand it hurts like how most people would quit. Right? But that, that, that pain of quitting is going to leave you with the feeling of not knowing. What could I have done? What could have been? And 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 Ben's like, I've given my whole life to this. I'm going to become a two-time world. He's already won a world. And maybe that's why he's won a world title. And and, and Zion has won nothing. That that right there could be why. Bam is willing to push himself through adversity, work through pain. Where Zion goes, I'm not feeling like myself. But this is the different. Fighters are different, right? Like Zion's got a guaranteed contract. He's got a cushy life. He went to elite private schools, right? Paid for, you know, and he deserved it. He's a great basketball player. But they're not the same. And, and, and you know, Bam comes from humble beginnings modest beginnings, and he took himself, he built himself, him and his brother, Josh Franco, built themselves into world champions. And they got great coaches, right, Robert Garcia. So, I mean, they got, you know, but this is all predicated on, on hard work and, and discipline and perseverance. Zion Williamson is a freak physically. He's an anomaly. I've never seen a guy that size with that kind of game and that kind of balance and that kind of athleticism. He's built like an offensive lineman who's six foot eight. You know, he's a weird or six seven, whatever he is. Like he's weird, right? And you, you can see he's he's been handed things. I'm not saying he didn't deserve it, right? But he hadn't had to work for it like in the way that Bam has. He doesn't have to literally fight for it the way that Bam did. And and because of that. Nothing comes easy. If you if you don't have trials and tribulations, you're, you're not going to be a warrior. You're not going to be a fighter. And Bam had to persevere through that, and Zion didn't. And so Zion, I I mean, how do you go? Says, I don't want to play. How do you even look at your teammates? Ah, eh, I'm not feeling like myself today, so the season may end. Well, we got a goal, right? I mean, I'd imagine you have Brandon Ingram, CJ McCollum, right? You have these guys, Herb Jones, you have all these players on your team. The goal was to win a championship. We haven't met that goal yet. And you're going to just bow out on us? For real? And on yourself? Like, don't you want to see how great you are? We all know you're good. We all know you're a special talent. But don't you want to reach that potential? Don't you want to see how good you are? You know, if they win, they can go in and, and, and play in the playoffs. And he can go play in a series against Joker and, and see how he fares up with a two-time, most likely three-time MVP at the end of this year. See how that goes. Let's, I see what you got. Let's see what I have. But there's just no push. There's no urge. There's no sense. There's no push for greatness. There's no, like, there's no challenge to yourself. There's no mama mentality from these guys. And, and, and you see it in BAM, right? I mean, Bam, we, we've seen other guys quit. Uh, Victor Ortiz, right? Uh, Zach Parker had a fight with Canelo. And I, I I was high on Zach Parker. I thought Zach I thought was going to beat Canelo, but he would certainly beat John Ryder. He got a broken joint. A fight he was winning. Just like Bam was winning, winning with ease. I don't want to say ease, but winning wide. And he quit. It's like, okay, you passed a you know, $10 million paycheck or whatever and, and, and a chance to fight Canelo? Because you didn't want to push yourself. You didn't want to see if you could get through it. And that's what we're seeing from Zion Williams now. Sitting on the sideline in street clothes while his team season comes to an end with him not playing because he's not feeling like himself. Meanwhile, over here, you got a two-time, two-division world champion, Bam Rodriguez. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Just an observation that I made uh, on, on Bam and Zion Williams. And same age, same kind of unique talent. See two different characters. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Uh, also, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, it is April 12, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.